up guru gang i'm back i'm back i'm back if you are new to my channel welcome 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 thank you so much for clicking on to this video if you are interested in perfume content beauty content candle content and all kinds of things of that nature then please double check and make sure you are subscribed take two seconds to look to your bottom right and hit that subscribe button this is going to be my top picks i guess you could call this my winter perfume tray we're just going to talk about the perfumes i will be wearing this winter I typically don't do monthly trays just because i get kind of attached to my fragrances when i wear them so i like to wear my fragrances for two and three months at a time some of these i've already been wearing this month and some of these i'm just planning on wearing over the next couple of months until my birthday in february which i will be switching over to my birthday scents and things of that nature so if you are interested in that and you want to see what perfumes you may or may not want to pick up especially during this week sephora is having 20 percent off of fragrances for the fragrance for all events so i will definitely link all of these in the description box below and mention which ones you can pick up at sephora and things like that before i show y'all what's coming to the tray that is new i did want to mention a few that are honorable mentions that i talked about in my fall tray so if you guys did not see my fall perfume picks video then i will definitely link that up top so you guys can check that out because honestly y'all almost all of those are probably going to be scents that i will still continue to revisit over the next few months um i'm just trying to take the focus off of them because a lot of them I put some very significant dents in and I'm super proud of myself so three of those scents will for sure be staying in the winter rotation because I've just completely been obsessed and you know wearing them literally almost every other day the first one being Lyra by Zhirjoff y'all this is literally I've told you guys before if I were to ever do a top 10 perfumes for life video this would probably be like number one this is literally a gourmand citrus lover's dream I've pretty much told you guys this literally smells like the lemon pound cake candle from Bath and Body Works with a little bit of an added roasted caramel note y'all this just smells so good and i literally get an insane amount of compliments when i wear this so this one is definitely definitely staying y'all can't really tell from the bottle i've put a significant dent in here and i will continue to wear this i have a bomb combo with this so please stay tuned for my winter fragrance layering video because that is coming up here as well but yes definitely 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 keeping lyra in the rotation for sure Next honorable mention is actually the one that i've probably put the biggest dent in if you guys watch my fall perfume picks video this barely had a dent in it this is aqua de parma mandorlo de cecilia y'all look at the dent that i've put in here i have put a freaking huge dent in here y'all look at that like i when i tell y'all i've been wearing this scent every day to work literally this has been like my everyday scent it's either a scent that i use to layer with other things or this is my base scent y'all i have been wearing this every single day and honestly y'all this is a true like almond scent like a fresh almond scent but at the same time the star anise in here i feel like the star anise and the vanilla in here definitely make this one that i for sure for sure for sure would recommend for the winter that star anise quality just gives it almost like a fizziness it's like almost like a I've told you guys before in my fall video reviewing this, but the initial spray of this definitely gives me root beer float vibes, but that kind of dissipates and it just turns into a very sweet, fresh, vanillic almond type of scent. And it just kind of remains this fizzy, effervescent, like it just smells so good, y'all. It just smells so good. And this is just such an easy reach. Look at me. <laughs> This is just such an easy reach y'all and I just love it so much. And this is one that I definitely always get compliments on. It's not offensive, it's super, super sweet, but also just, it's not a cloying sweet. It's just like a fresh vanillic almond type of scent with that hint of star anise, which gives it that holiday festive quality about it. And I just have been obsessed with this one, obviously, as you guys can see from the dent that I've put. The last honorable mention that is staying on the tray has literally been, right after the mandorlo this has literally been my go-to girls milk by commodity originally you guys you can't really tell how much of a dent that i've put in here honestly because i did start out wearing this scent in the travel size which i do still have and i think i'm about to empty it so i will probably continue to refill the travel size little sprayer of that because it is a screw top um because as y'all can see this bottle is literally huge this 
oh my god y'all and by the way you guys i'm not gonna read the notes or anything like how i usually do because i feel like that adds just so much more time but i will have the notes for each of these displayed on the side if you guys want to just look at it as i talk but y'all this is literally the most delicious like marshmallowy it's like cinnamon marshmallow goo cinnamon marshmallow milk like this scent is just so deliciously cozy if you love marshmallow scents if you love slightly woody sweet cinnamon type of scents i don't think cinnamon is listed in the notes in here but there's something very woody in the base of this scent that gives it a cinnamon vibe oh y'all this to me is the best milk scent that has come out all year. Like I know Dead Cool has a milk scent. That one's okay. I know Ellis Brooklyn has a milk scent, which y'all know I was not a fan of that one if you watch my review on that. And this is just literally the best milk scent that has come out all year. Like y'all, this is literally probably in my top five like perfume releases. Like this is just, oh, y'all, this is just so good. I literally want to wear this every day. Like. I don't care what I'm wearing y'all, I literally will add, add a spritz of this because it just adds that sweet woody vibe that just smells so, so, so insanely good. I think I even wore this on, I wore this on Thanksgiving too, you guys, mixed with Midnight Amber Glow and I was literally smelling like a marshmallow coffee drink. Like it was, it's just so good y'all, like trust me on this. And I'm, honestly, this is available at Sephora but I think it's actually sold out online right now. So I would recommend, um, I will try to find a link through the commodity website as well, but I would recommend you guys just go in store. Um, sometimes you can do buy online, pick up in store. So I will still provide the Sephora link. So that way, when you guys are looking for it, just switch instead of shipping, switch to the option for buy online, pick up in store, and that will show you if your store actually has the inventory for it. Um, and even if it doesn't allow you to do that, just call your store anyway and see if it's in stock because y'all, this one literally sold out. I was not expecting this to even sell out, but the last time that I looked at it, this was sold out, y'all. So this is definitely the time to pick this scent up if you are able to find it at Sephora for sure. Moving on to the new additions to the tray, the two items that I'm about to actually talk about are perfume oils but these are perfume oils that I have been using for all of my perfume combos and y'all typically when I layer my perfumes in the winter especially when it's super super cold I always keep an atomizer of my scent of the day with me just because I do find myself having to reapply because most of the time if we're outside or doing something in the winter time we have a lot of layers of clothes on so we have very few areas of our skin that are exposed and if you guys did not know um, typically our fragrance is carried best on our skin, especially when we are layering things. And in the winter, it's a lot harder to get our scents and things like that to perform at its best. So typically woody type of scents or vanilla type of scents, smoky type of scents, those scents do best scientifically in the winter. Of course, you can wear scents whenever you want, but those are the type of scents that perform the best in the winter months because something about the something about how heavy those scents are they just hold up better in the cold as opposed to heat which activates scents a lot easier so that's why florals and things like that tend to do a lot better in the hot weather um but i usually always keep a little tiny atomizer and i got this particular atomizer off of amazon and it's just the glass atomizer if you guys have ever ordered anything from scentbird it's basically the same type of atomizers as scentbird's atomizers i have a few different ones but these honestly are my faves because i find myself doing a lot of my layering perfume combos in here so i will keep one of these in my purse and then i will usually go in and reapply a perfume oil right before i reapply my perfume so like i said i will have these atomizers linked but as far as the perfume oils that i use I am a huge fan of the Nest Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil. Um, I did pick up a rollerball of this just because it's easier for me to reapply throughout the day the rollerball of this as opposed to the dropper. So I usually use the dropper when I'm at home and I'm doing, you know, my first initial application of the day. And this is usually what I keep in my purse to reapply my atomizer and things like that. So y'all with this you really do not need a lot i'm talking you literally hit your pulse points hit your neck hit behind your ear whatever and this scent alone projects i believe the scent notes in here are like madagascar vanilla and like vanilla orchid but it's definitely a very woody super super sweet vanilla 
And honestly, y'all, on me, this scent gets a lot sweeter the longer that I wear it. Like, I do find the initial application of the Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil, it definitely is heavy on that vanilla orchid, and I get a woody floral. But the longer that I wear this, you guys, it turns into a more super, super sweet, warm, you know, cozy, sweet vanilla, and I just love it so much. So this has definitely been a staple in my layering routines lately. And you can also pick that oil up at Sephora. I believe right now they're even doing a gift deal or a gift package where you can get the roller ball as well as the dropper for $98, which normally I think the dropper alone is $98. So I think that's a great deal. So I will link that deal as well. Um, but the next perfume oil that I use quite often is the Vanilla Musk. Now, I think you guys may have heard me talk about this in a few different layering videos as well as the Nest Madagascar Vanilla I, I use both of those interchangeably, honestly, with a lot of my gourmand combos, but this one is definitely a lot sweeter, I would say. This one does not have as heavy of a woody type of vibe. This is definitely a true, like, vanilla skin scent, like that natural vanillic sweetness. This just smells so good. And sometimes, you guys, if I'm not in the mood to wear fragrance, I literally can do a couple of drops of this on my pulse points. And when I tell you guys, if I'm at work serving drinks, like literally people can smell me just from my wrist alone. So this definitely projects. This one is not available at Sephora. It is currently at Ulta. So of course I will have a link to this as well. Okay y'all, now are y'all ready to get into the meat and potatoes of this? The actual perfumes that are new that I'll be adding y'all, I'm so excited. Let's get into the it. The first one that I will be adding to the tray is going to be Billie Eilish Eilish. This is just so good. You guys may have seen me talk about this in a fall layering video. I will link it up top if I'm not out of links at this point, but this is just so good, you guys. And this is a scent that you guys may have heard me say before. Like when I initially tried this scent in the store, I was not a fan of it because I sprayed it on the paper and it just had this weird metallic smell. And even when I sprayed it on myself, the first five, 10 minutes, I was like, oh my God, girl, what is that? But the key with this one, you guys, you really do have to let it dry down. And I promise y'all, it turned into the most it turns into the most even on paper right now that I sprayed it on here it still does not have the same aroma that it's that it has when I sprayed on my skin it turns into this vanilla spicy cookie scent like I'm pretty sure in the notes there's like cacao and like vanilla like like I said I'll have the notes on the side somewhere so you guys can see but like I really truly smell a spicy vanilla snickerdoodle type of cookie it smells so good, you guys. A scent that will garner you compliments from both men and women. A complete stranger will come up to you most likely and be chasing you down while you're wearing this, y'all. So please keep that in mind. Um, also, y'all, the bottle is just beautiful and I definitely need to get a lot more wear out of this because I have not put a huge dent in it. So I'm super excited to be wearing this one, you guys, because I, I really only wore it for like a couple of combos that I really, really enjoyed. And then I just kind of put it back on my, you know, perfume shelf and didn't wear it as much. So super excited to bring this back into the rotation. The next one on my winter perfume list is going to be Armani Code. Now this one, you guys, I don't know if you guys can see, I have put a cute little dent in here, but this is one that I definitely need to wear more. If you guys have worn this fragrance before or purchased this ever, this is one of the newer bottles. This is the newer packaging of Armani Code. It did used to have a nice little cute white flower on there. And I will say, that version was definitely a lot stronger. But honestly, you guys, I still really, really enjoyed the scent. Even though this is a newer reformulation of it, I do still really, really enjoy the scent. And what this scent actually reminds me of, you guys, I'm pretty sure the notes in here, orange blossom or like mandarin orange and um, vanilla and like sandalwood or something like that. But to me, you guys, this literally smells like one of the discontinued Bath & Body Works Fine Fragrance Mist that I talked about in my Fine Fragrance Mist video, which I will link up top because those are awesome bomb winter picks. But to me, this smells like an orange version of Bright Lemon Snowdrop. It literally is like a citrusy, almost kind of doughy, like dense vanilla scent. It smells so good, you guys. And even though it does not project and is not as loud as the original formulation of this, 
I do still really, really love this scent. This is definitely more of an everyday gourmand because the original formulation of this was super, super beast mode to the point where I really did not feel like I could wear it during the day. But I do feel like even though it's reformulated, this actually makes it a more wearable everyday gourmand. It's just a very citrusy, sexy, almost kind of cakey type of scent. And it just smells so, so good, you guys. I just love how this smells. If you are a fan of Lyra by Zhirjoff, if you are a fan of Bright Lemon Snowdrop, this is definitely along those lines for me. I definitely pick up a heavy dose of that citrus, but mixed with the vanilla and the sandalwood, it just gives me almost like a vanilla orange cake type of vibe. It just smells really good to me and I love this one. So super excited to get some more wear out of this one for sure. Okay y'all, the next one is actually a super affordable option. This one is not available at Sephora or Ulta. This is actually a Zara perfume. This is Rose Gourmand. I'm so sorry if it's not focusing you guys, my ring light. I have not figured out the settings for that, unfortunately. But this is Rose Gourmand. And as you guys can see, I have a huge dent in this gigantic bottle. Y'all, y'all know I'm a gourmand girl, okay? Y'all know I am a gourmand girl, but this is rose done right, okay? I told you guys I have been gravitating towards a lot of rosy scents lately, or I will say sweet rose type of scents or gourmand scents that have a sweet rose in it, and this is that. I promise y'all, in this scent, I get more of a jammy vanilla rose than anything, Oh, y'all, this is such a beautiful scent. And when I tell y'all, I get so many compliments in here. And typically, I would not gravitate towards a floral in the winter. But for some reason, y'all, this has just been on my radar. I literally crave wearing this. If you are a fan of Bath & Body Works Whipped Rose Latte, it gives me that same vibe. It gives me the same vibes as like the Pink Petal TK Candle. And this is said to be a dupe for Mancera's Roses Vanille. Um, and this is just... Oh, y'all, this is just so good. Like, y'all can tell that it's good by the freaking juice. Like, look at the juice. Look at the dent. Like, I have put such a huge dent in it. When I tell y'all, I put my mom onto this. I put my best friend onto this. Like, this is just a beautiful, classy, chic rose scent. Typically, I know in the winter time. We want to wear those cozy gourmand fragrances, but every now and then we might not want that suffocating gourmand note. We might want something kind of pretty or, you know, something a little bit more delicate. And I feel like this is just a beautiful, a beautifully balanced gourmand floral type of scent that you can 100% wear year round. But right now <laughs> during this winter season, I have just been craving this so much and I'm just loving it. So I love to layer this with my whipped rose latte lotion from Bath & Body Works. And spoiler alert, that is actually supposed to be coming back this semi-annual sale. So if y'all were missing that scent, it is supposed to be returning. So fingers crossed for that. But yes, 100% recommend you guys check Zara out and check this scent out for sure. Hey y'all, now jumping back into fragrances you can pick up at Sephora. This is Chloe's Nomad. Now, I have talked about this scent in a layering video. I believe it was like my Halloween, fall, Bath & Body Works layering video. And I just have not really talked about it since. But y'all, this is such a beautiful scent. For me, I mostly pick up on a whole lot of citrus. And I pick up a lot of oak moss. And if you are a fan of oak moss, then this is definitely a scent that I usually always recommend to people who like a slightly more green type of scent. This scent is just so beautifully done. I get a lot of citrus. Again, I will have the notes over here, but I get a lot of that citrus in the opening. And then as it dries down, I just really get a lot of that musky oak moss. It just smells so beautiful. This scent is definitely like a one of one. Like I have never smelled anything like this and it's so kind of weird and odd, but when I put it on, this just smells so like luxe and just elegant on me. This could 100% be a spring scent. But the patchouli and oak moss and woody vibes in here. I also believe there's jasmine in here as well. It just gives this a more wintry, cozy, floral vibe. It smells so good, you guys. I love the original Chloe. This to me is like a fall, winter spin on the original Chloe. Like they don't smell the same. The original Chloe is definitely more of a sweet spring floral, but this is just like a woody green type of fresh floral. And I just love how this smells, y'all. 
And this is another one, surprisingly, that I would not have thought a lot of men like, but this is a perfume that I get a lot of compliments on from men when I wear this. Something about it like really triggers men. Like usually vanilla type of scents are the ones that men always give me compliments on, but something in this one, y'all, I don't know if it's the musk or the oak moss, I don't know what it is, um, but this one definitely will get you a lot of compliments from men. So I would definitely recommend you guys try this on your skin first and also please make sure you try the Eau de Parfum. Um, I have not tried the Eau de Toilette or the Nomad Eau Naturale, I believe. I have not tried either of those. My recommendation is for the Eau de Parfum. Okay, y'all, the next perfume on this list, some people love it, some people hate it. And honestly, the very, very, very first time I ever smelled this scent, I was a hater of it. I was a hater of it. But this is going to be Mason Margiela's slash Replicas by The Fireplace. You know that Christmas song that's like chestnuts roasting? That literally, that is this, okay, in a bottle. This is a very smoky, woody, gourmand type of scent. I believe the notes in here are like chestnuts. Like I believe there's some sort of spiciness in here. This is just such a creamy, woody, yummy gourmand scent and i will say do not blind buy this okay if you know you don't like smoky woody fragrances do not blind buy this but i will also say if you try this in store spray it on your skin walk around for 10 or 15 minutes and and smell yourself again okay because very much how i used to feel about bonfire bash like years ago I could not stand the smokiness of it, but it's really the sweet, creamy vibes after that smokiness wears off a little bit that I love so much. It's so creamy and nutty from those chestnuts, and then there's just this underlying sweetness. And the longer that I wear this, y'all, this literally sweetens up so much. There's no marshmallows listed in the notes, but honestly, y'all, I get some sort of creamy lactonic vibe in here. It just smells so delicious, so freaking cozy, and I just love using this as a base for some of my more gourmand combos. So I cannot wait to show you guys what I paired with this because it's literally the bomb, okay? It's the bomb, and I definitely love this one. Hands down is like the perfect, perfect, perfect winter scent. This one does lean slightly more unisex than it does feminine, I would say, but you can definitely play around with this and tweak it to make it a lot sweeter into your liking. Okay, you guys, the next two fragrances are going to be from one of my favorite fragrance houses that I've talked about on my channel before. I had a scent from this fragrance house on my fall rotation or my fall video, and I'm adding in two to my winter rotation. So the first one is going to be Mancera's Choco Violet. Y'all, when I tell y'all this is probably in the top two of my ultimate favorite Mancera scents. I have gone through a full, and as you guys can see, their bottles are huge, okay? This is a four milliliter bottle and I've already gone through a full one of these. Oh, y'all, if y'all are a fan of Ari Hobbs Choco Musk, which I've talked to you guys about in a prior layering video, this is Choco Musk older sister. Like this scent walked so Choco Musk could run. Like this is literally, Please do not let the violet note fool you or throw you off. While violet is in here and that is a floral, y'all, to me, this literally smells like a chocolate biscotti wafer, a chocolate cookie. Like, there's dark chocolate in here. There is hazelnut in here. There is citrus in here as well, but I really don't get a lot of citrus. And then, of course, there is vanilla. Y'all, this literally comes across to me as those chocolate covered like wafers or biscuits or biscottis. It's like, it, it's got a little bit of a buttery, creamy nuttiness in here. But then that dark chocolate just gives it some richness. And then the iris, the violet really just gives it more powdery, more of a powdery vibe. So it's almost like a chocolate chip cookie with like powdered sugar. Like it just, Y'all, this scent literally brings me joy. Every time I wear it, if I'm having a bad day, this is one of those scents that I will spray on to make myself feel better. Like, it just smells so good. It smells so good. And I'm heavy on a chocolate kick right now, so I am so excited to have this on my rotation. Like, I've already been wearing it, and I'm just 
totally 100% in love with this scent. Okay, y'all. Now, since we are talking about Mancera fragrances, this is a scent that I really do not wear much because I honestly only wear it in the winter time, and that is Amber Fever. Y'all, this is basically, if you guys have ever smelled Instant Crush by Mancera, this is basically a sweeter more feminine version of Instant Crush. While all of Mancera fragrances are considered unisex, I do feel like Amber Fever is definitely a lot more feminine. This, I believe, has caramel, whiskey, and tonka bean in the top notes, and then this is also an oak moss type of scent. And then there's amber, there's violet, there's a lot of florals in here as well, but y'all, for me, this is almost like if Baccarat Rouge and Instant Crush had a baby. Like this is literally like, it kind of gives me those musky like animalic type of notes when it dries down. But for the most part, I really just get a sweet caramelized, boozy, sweet, vanillic type of scent in the opening. Um, I would say you guys, if you try this one, I know it's really hard to not blind buy Mancera fragrances because they typically are only sold online. But this is one that I was really not a fan of the first time I sprayed it on myself. Like it took me a few wears and a few times getting a lot of compliments for me to really appreciate this fragrance because there is a heavily boozy quality about this in the first initial sprays. And y'all know I love boozy notes, I do. But something about how this one was just in the opening for me in the first few minutes, I really do have to let this dry down before I can truly appreciate it for what it is. But this is another one that's just such a beautiful, feminine, boozy, oak moss type of scent, and I just love it. It definitely reminds me of Chloe Nomad with that oak moss note, but there is an added caramel booziness as well as a little bit of Baccarat Rouge 540 vibes. This is just rich. This is luxe. This is something that you wear if you're going on a date, if you are going somewhere fancy, girl, if you're going to like a winter gala, like whatever y'all it's just so luxe and delicious and i definitely 100 percent get compliments every time i wear this y'all so this is 100 percent something i'm super excited to be wearing again now that it's colder outside y'all now this one i almost did not even want to put in this video because it is very difficult to find right now i believe it is sold out on both sephora and ulta's website um, so your best bet would be trying to do buy online, pick up in store. Of course, I will provide a link so you guys can do that. But this one, for whatever reason, has been selling out and I've kind of just had this one sitting in my collection. If you guys watched a YouTube live that I did where I was like tasting a bunch of crumble cookies a few months ago, I hauled this and I initially was like trying to still gather my thoughts on it. So I never did a full review on it, but I've been wearing it so much in the last few days. And y'all, I have just, I don't know what clicked in my head, in my nostrils. I don't know if it's the weather change, but I have been completely obsessed with this, okay? Compared to the original Burberry Her, this is definitely a more woody, creamy, lactonic version. If you guys own the Burberry Her Intense, you honestly do not need this one unless you just want one that's a little bit fruitier, but... Y'all, this is just such a beautifully done fragrance. This is definitely my favorite out of the Burberry Her range. If you are not a fan of the original Burberry Her, you may even still want to check this out because while I do feel like it takes a little bit of that Burberry Her DNA, this is also a completely different fragrance. This is syrupy sweet. This has top notes of strawberry and blackberry, I believe, or black currant. And then there's jasmine in here, there's vanilla in here, there's sandalwood in here. It is just such a sexy scent and like on me y'all I just get this sticky sweet berry syrup type of vibe like a woody berry scent it smells so good if you are a fan of scents like C and C intense and things like that y'all this is just <sighs> y'all this is a scent that I smell and I cannot stop smelling myself the performance of this is also bomb like it literally last all day and honestly you guys the performance of most of these that i've talked about i know i haven't really said it much but the performance of most of these that i've talked about literally lasts me all day but this one for sure gives me a good eight hours and i pick up on this super sticky sweet i think it's the amber and the fruit mixing together but y'all this is just so sexy and delicious and oh my god like i'm so glad that i picked up a full-size bottle of this because 
y'all really can't tell just because of the color of the bottle but i've put a significant dent in this bottle and i am just completely completely obsessed with this right now and super excited to be wearing it this winter okay y'all <laughs> please ignore the fact that i've completely just switched up where i was sitting and turned off my ring light it finally stopped raining and y'all know i prefer to use my natural light so i turned my ring light off to finish the rest of these but the next one on my list is going to be from the house of parfums de marley this is going to be a thalia you guys this one this is not one to play around with, okay? This is one of those scents that is extremely, extremely in your face, beast mode, loud, lasts forever. Um, this is probably at my top three from Parfums de Marley. Of course, you guys know I talked about Oriana in my last video, in my fall video, and I love that one as well. But this one to me, you guys, screams winter. This is literally a powder bomb, okay? I believe the notes in here are basically like orange blossom, iris, and like amber or something like that. And there's also a little bit of a musk vibe to it as well. Y'all, this literally smells like expensive baby powder okay and y'all know i love wearing powdery florals in the winter i don't know what it is about it but those just give me a lot of comfort a lot of class they make me feel classy they they make me feel chic okay so this is definitely one of those scents that i would for sure wear to like some sort of fancy evening out or if i'm going to like a really really nice restaurant like this is one of those scents for me y'all to me i mostly get a very 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 sweet iris a very sweet baby powder this literally smells like if you like baby powder type of scents girl this is gonna be for you but this is definitely not one of those scents that i would say is for everybody this is definitely not blind by safe but this is one of my personal favorites from the house of parfums de marley and if you love powdery florals you love powdery scents then this is definitely one i recommend you guys check out this just smells like a woman on a mission a boss a ceo like this is just one of those fragrances this is not one of those fragrances you put on to run to the grocery store girl okay this is not this is something where you are about to accomplish something i can see a lawyer wearing this i can see just any type of boss woman somebody wearing a black leather jacket like this is literally like just screams winter boss woman vibes and i just love this one so super excited to have it on my tray for the next couple of months next one on my list is a cult cult classic a cult favorite if you love Jean-Paul Gaultier or you love gourmand fragrances chances are you have this in your collection this is La Belle you guys this is such a beautiful delicious rich pear sugary sweet gourmand fragrance this is a perfect scent for the winter I feel like this does also perform equally as well in the summer but to me this screams winter because it is a super super juicy sugary pear type of scent actually wearing it today on my arm and it just smells so amazing you guys if you love fruity pear scents if you love scents like vanilla woods from um the seven virtues this is also a scent that you should definitely check out think of this you guys i definitely get a very zesty juicy pear i believe there's like bergamot in the opening so it gives it a little bit of a zingy sharp like zesty fresh pear but then as it dries down it dries down into this super powdery sweet vanillic like there's a little bit of a powdery vibe because i believe there's also vetiver in here as well but it just dries down into this super sweet gourmand slightly floral slightly powdery sweet pear scent and i just love this one you guys this one is not available at Sephora, I don't think. I think this, if it is, it's like an online exclusive or something, so you can definitely still order it. But of course, I will link this below. This is definitely a winter fave of mine. Also, the La Belle Le Parfum is also amazing. It's like a lot richer and more dense than this one. But honestly, y'all, this one is a beast mode projector on its own. I just love this one so much, and it just works perfectly for me. This one on this list is a brand that I have spoken about on my channel before in a few layering videos, but this is one you can pick up at sephora or ulta i know the specific version that i'm about to talk about i don't think sephora cares carries it anymore but ulta is carrying it and i believe they have a very very affordable gift set available in this scent if it is not sold out but that is going to be a fresh cream warm cashmere you guys may have remembered me talking about this in my marshmallow s'mores video and this is literally a such a yummy delicious gourmand scent 
Y'all, yeah, this is so, so, so good. Definitely a stand for the original Fresh Cream if you want a more lectonic, milky, powdery vibe, but this one just amplifies it by adding a little bit of a woody quality to it. There's also coconut, sandalwood in here, there's vanilla in here, there's cashmere, and there's musk, and it just literally comes together into a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, you guys. It's so warm and cozy. I find that this one wears very similarly on my skin to Ness Madagascar Vanilla, where it starts off super, super, almost very like woody, like that sandalwood definitely takes over for me in the initial beginning of it. But as it dries down, it just gets sweeter and sweeter on my skin. And it almost turns into like a honey type of scent. Like, I don't know how to explain it, y'all, but it just smells so good. This is one that definitely sweetens up the longer that you have it on. And I always, always, always get compliments on this one. It is just an amazing, delicious, cozy gourmand scent, and it is super affordable. So definitely recommend you guys check this one out as well. This fragrance on this list is from the house of Victor and Rolf, and this is going to be one of the Bon Bon flankers. This is Bon Bon Couture, which is said to be the intense version of Bon Bon. This is one that I personally, while I do feel like it resembles the original on Bon Bon and it does have that same peachy caramelly DNA. This one has an added white tobacco note in the base that really adds an elevated like layer of smokiness to it. And if you guys cannot tell, I really love slightly smoky woody scents in the winter. So while I do love the original Bon Bon, Bon Bon Couture is basically a more complex, still super sticky sweet version. It just adds a little bit of a woody, slightly smoky, super sexy, mature type of vibe. So this is literally like Bon Bon's older sister. This one smells so good on me and I do still get that sticky, sweet, peachy caramel type of DNA that is in the original Bon Bon, but that added white tobacco, I believe there's also patchouli in here as well, and something a little bit woody. Um, it definitely, 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 definitely gives this scent a lot longer longevity, as well as giving the scent some layers and a little bit more of a sexy vibe to it. So it's not like super overwhelmingly, sickeningly sweet, like sometimes the original Bon Bon can be. And that is why I really, really love this one. So I definitely need to wear this one a lot more because I have not gotten a lot of wear out of it honestly but this is definitely the perfect time of year to pull this out if you have this. I also think Ulta might have this on sale right now if I'm not mistaken if you are able to find it. Um, a lot of stores have been sold out of this one so I don't know if it's like still available online but of course if I'm able to find a link for you guys I will definitely link it below. The last two fragrances on my winter tray. I know it seems like I've talked about so many scents you guys but like I said I will be wearing these over the next two to three months so just keep that in mind. I like to have some variety so I'm not reaching for the same stuff but these next two are going to be from Kayali and if y'all have been following me y'all know I am a Kayali stan. It's one of my favorite fragrance houses. I just love how unique and different yet sexy and sweet her scents are and the first one I'm going to be wearing is Love Fest Burning Cherry. You guys may have seen me talk about this in a fall layering video. I probably have already linked it in this video um, but this is definitely one that I need to get some more wear out of this one is such a delicious scent. This one has notes of burning cherry, raspberry, praline, palo santo, guayac wood, and patchouli. And to me, you guys, I do feel like this carries a heavy, heavy, heavy resemblance to Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. But this is definitely a more smokier, woody version of that. I definitely pick up on that palo santo and I definitely pick up on something a little bit woody and smoky. And it's just very typical of Kaeli's fragrances to have some sort of oud or some sort of smoky, you know, Middle Eastern type of vibe. And I just love those, especially in the winter. It's just a very sweet, delicious, luscious, juicy cherry. Just like the name, you also get that underlying smoky woodiness as well. And this is just a beautifully done fragrance. It layers perfectly with so many things. I will be featuring this in an upcoming layering video, so please stay tuned for that. But I have already layered this with a few things as well. So if you're interested in seeing what I've layered this with in the past, definitely check that video out if I have not run out of link cards at this point. But this is just so good, you guys. And this is also a more affordable way to get the Tom Ford Lost Cherry scent profile. This also lasts a lot longer than Tom Ford's Lost Cherry on me. And I just prefer this one. It's just sexier. The bottle is beautiful. And I am just a super, super Kayali stan. So definitely excited to get a little bit more wear out of this one. This All right, you guys, the last perfume, I had to save the best for last because this is literally a cult classic. If you are a gourmand lover, chances are 
you have this, you've already used it. And this is going to be Vanilla 28. Y'all, obviously I've put a nice little dent in here. I have really been wearing um, Vanilla Royale, which I have a full review on. So I will link that up top. That is also a bomb winter fragrance pick as well, um, as well as Invite Only. Those two have actually been wearing a lot. So I decided to go ahead and switch over to these because while I do feel like Vanilla 28 and Burning Cherry are beautiful fragrances on their own these are scents that i always reach for to layer with things and that is primarily my goal with the 2k ali scents that i picked this month just because i feel like all of my other fragrances are like super super complete on their own so i really just want to layer them with things and vanilla 28 is just that it is a perfect 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 gourmand layering scent Y'all already know this is a man killer perfume. Literally, I cannot wear this anywhere without a male complimenting me. This is definitely a sugary, sweet, brown sugar, sexy type of scent. There's vanilla, there's vanilla orchid in here, there's brown sugar in here, it's jasmine, there's tonka bean. Like this is literally vanilla for the grown woman, okay? That's what this is. And this is a super crowd pleasing scent. Like every time I've worn this, I've never, I mean, I know no one would ever say, oh my God, I don't like how that smells. But every now and then, like, I like to ask people like, hey, what does this smell like to you? And this is definitely a crowd pleaser. People always love this. People can smell me before I can even get into the room type thing. And this is just a bomb cult classic. As you guys can see, I've had this bottle for a little while because my juice has turned super dark. And that typically happens when you have had a vanilla perfume for a while. If you have a clear bottle, typically a vanilla fragrance does start to turn dark. And I personally love to see that because that just means the juice is a lot stronger. It's a lot more rich and it's going to last longer on your clothes. So I just love this one. And I'm so excited with all of the combos that I've already come up with with this. And I cannot wait to share those with you guys as well. All right, you guys, that is it for my winter perfume picks video. I'm so, so excited to see if you guys have any of these on your tray, if you guys have used these, if you guys hate these, y'all know I just love to chat with y'all in the comments. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below and also i will be doing my layering video as well so please stay tuned for that let me know what else you guys want to see from me but of course i have things planned i'm trying to get caught back up now that i am in a better mental space and thank you guys so much for everyone who reached out on my post i did delete it because i was getting a lot of comments a lot a lot of comments of people who are going through the same thing so just know if you are going through seasonal depression and things like that just know we are out here i see you guys i support you guys thank you guys for supporting me um i did delete the post because sometimes those types of comments can weigh a little heavily on me and i have to know my limits because i am a very empathetic person so i did delete the post but just know i saw all of you guys' comments i love you guys so much i appreciate y'all and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye